everybody! Today's video, it is going to be an organizational video and I'm going to show you how to organize your socks and your underwear. I am going to be cleaning these three drawers and purging some of my clothes and then if you want to see how I organize them, please stay tuned. So this is how my drawers are currently looking. I literally just throw everything in here and I know that I need a lot more organization in the drawers. Over here I just have chunky winter socks mixed with my sports socks and like regular socks. So really looking forward and doing this. So I'm starting by just dropping all of my socks in the bed and this is how I had them before I just bolt up my socks that's how I was taught when I was a kid and I'm just grabbing all of my winter cozy socks and separating them see which ones I absolutely want to keep grab socks that I do not even wear like these hospital socks that I haven't seen in so long and then just grab my sports socks and start separating everything by type So this is Marie Kondo's file folding method. What you want to do is just find a flat surface, lay one sock on top of each other and then just fold it twice or three times depending on how long your socks are. They're supposed to stand up. Now when it comes to long socks, you want to do pretty much the same but start by folding them directly in half and then after that you're just going to fold twice or three times depending on the length. It is also totally acceptable to just roll them inwards. Now for underwear, you're going to lay underwear flat in front of you. You're going to fold in half lengthwise, crotch to waistband, fold in the sides and then lastly fold over the crotch again so that it stands upright or it looks like a nice little envelope. process can be applied to thongs, bikini bottoms, briefs, and boy shorts. So while I was folding all of my socks and underwear, I started to go through the process of decluttering and purging and I wanted to see what items sparked joy. 
This is a process where you hold each item and you really think what kind of emotion it emits in you. If it's not important, then you're just gonna toss it up. But if it brings a smile to your face or it's something that you absolutely love, then you get to keep that item. This is what the 32 compartment organizer looks like and they're just like zigzaggy plastic things that you interlace and interlock to each other. originally grabbed these cute pink polka dot boxes to put some photographs and organize some pictures that I had laying around the house but they ended up working perfect for this project because they fit really good in my drawers and I chose them to put my chunky socks and just roll them in there. You can also grab some chew boxes and start inserting your socks one next to each other standing upright. I decided I still had a lot of space in each compartment and wanted to use it wisely so I started sliding two socks in each compartment and what I like about this divider is that when I get one sock out of the compartment the rest stay put. Next I had to work in my bra and underwear drawer and I got this nine section drawer organizer but I'm not going to use the nine sections, you can actually put your socks or underwear in it. So I just decided to grab the dividers and set them aside. After not long, I had perched and folded my underwear and now it was time to do what Marie Kondo recommends to do with bras and it is just to grab the hooks into the eye closure and do that for every single bra that you have, you need to close them together and lay one on top of each other and that's how you're going to organize them. I still had a few glossy box subscription boxes laying around and I'm so glad I kept them because they just fit perfectly in my IKEA drawers. And while you're laying your bras on top of each other at an angle, you want to fold the straps inside of the bra cups. And finally, this is the end result and I absolutely loved how everything turned out and the best part is that I have a full empty drawer. Also you guys, if you want to see how I decoupaged or utilized some wrapping paper to embellish my drawers, I am going to leave the video right here. So if you're interested, go check out that video so that you can see in detailed explanation how I did it.
You guys, I am so excited that it's finally over. You can probably tell by my face that I am exhausted. It has been a day long project, just filming and organizing and cleaning my closet and then doing this little project in my drawers. But I hope that you really enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe. If you haven't done it, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It's totally free and don't forget to hit the notification bell. It's just gonna tell you when I upload new videos immediately. I will see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day.